That's it. Hello, check. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> hey folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the first quick tips video here on the Stony Ridge Farm. We're starting a new series of videos that are going to be under three or four minutes and we're going to give you quick tips. And today's quick tip is how to restring your weed eater. A quick, easy way to restring your string trimmer and this is the still FS131. This is the Mac Daddy. It's like carrying a moped on your back. So come along. We'll have some fun on the Stony Ridge Quick Tips. So if you're like me, back in the day when I first started weed whacking, when I first started running lawn care equipment, I had a lot of trouble rewinding my weed eater string trim or my string trimmer string. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to do this that's going to save you time. It's not a speed feeder and a lot of people will leave down there in the comments. If you do have a comment, please leave it down below. If you can tell me of a brand of speed feeder that might work best on the farm let me know but i don't have all that fancy expensive stuff we just got the standard steel factory weed whacker head on here so here's how we do it there are two tabs on this there's a push in there and then a little push right there so we'll push both of those tabs and we'll pop this guy loose just like so so it's loose now very very simple and this is the button that you push to release the string so we'll pop the cover off there's no string in here. So that's the cover. We'll set that down in an appropriate place. And then we'll press our divot down and pop it out. And this is where the string goes. Be careful, sometimes you'll have a loose spring inside of here. But we're gonna wrap string around this really quickly. You're gonna find this to be super helpful and super awesome. This will hold about 24 feet of string trimmer string. So this is a string trimmer string that we use here on the farm. This is some big stuff. It's some really strong stuff. It's the best that I have found. It's Oregon brand Magnum Square Gator Line. I'll post a link down in the video description to this. It is super duper awesome. The best string trimmer string that I have found to use on my farm. If you know of a better one, post it down there in the comments. So let me show you what we're doing. We'll unwrap the string here. Basically, we'll take out 12 feet of string. And the way I find 12 feet, it's just like this. I take my string and I'll stretch it out just like so. Far as my arms will reach, that's six foot and six inches. Then I'll do it again for another six foot and six inches. So figure out how long your arm reach is and that's how you'll do it. So six foot six, six foot six, that's 13 feet. We may go over a little bit. I also carry a multi-tool. This is the Gerber center drive. I'll post a link down in the video description. I also carry this whenever I'm doing weed whacking and stuff around the farm. Very, very handy tool, very robust, very tough. See? So we pulled off our first 12 or 13 feet of string trimmer string. Now we're going to take this string, we're going to match it up to the next piece, okay? And you don't have to have a roll of string this big to do this job, but what we're going to do is match it up and have it the exact same length. We're going to need those cutters I just tossed away. <laughs> so we'll have it the exact same length right here and we'll give it a snip. I tossed my cutters away, but I have another pair right here. <laughs> So we'll cut that. These are two matching identical length string trimmer strings. Now, here's how we wind it. So inside your little reel for your string trimmer, you'll have two holes. You can see them right there. This will house one half of the string and this will house the other half of the string. Both strings will go around in the same direction. I'll show you exactly what we do. So we insert our string trimmer string down into those little holes, very simply. So we're mounted up here. We are gonna go not the same direction that they're stuck in, we're gonna go back on themselves. So in other words, hold both strings in your hand, don't stand on one like I'm doing, and roll backwards. That's it. And just roll it right on there. Just like so. You don't want them to cross up, you just wanna roll them right up on the reel. Now if you have trouble with this, you can start over, don't, don't hesitate. If you get all crossed up and twisted up, just restart. You'll get better at it as time goes on, but it really should only take you about two minutes to restring your weed eater versus that 20 or 30 minutes when it just turns into a Scooby-Doo mystery for you. And it really was a mystery for me and that's why I'm showing this to you. So we'll keep wrapping until we get it fully loaded. We don't want to pull really, really tight because that will cause it to bind up. So we want to loosely wrap our string trimmer, I call this the cartridge or reel. We'll loosely wrap that, make sure we're not overlapping any. And that 12 to 13 feet is normally just about right for this string trimmer. If you've got too much, the stuff isn't expensive. Just cut it off what the excess is and you'll have enough 
for restringing your string trimmer. So now we've gotten to this point right here. We're all wrapped around our reel fairly loosely and we're gonna reinstall on the weed whacker. So we got our weed whacker. This is the head, this is the reel. We'll take the reel and we'll slide it down right over the center here. Very, very simple, just the same way it came apart. We wanna make sure that our string is not going loose. You wanna hold tension on this string the whole time. Press that in and we're gonna turn it ever so slightly and then we'll drop our string down into our little grooves right here just like so does it matter which groove it doesn't matter which groove you drop it in as long as you do drop it in a groove and it's held firmly in position so you drop it in there drop it in there and then we'll take our cover vanna vanna's over here and we'll put our cover back on and we'll have our string trimmer all stringed up and ready to go for another couple hours of weed whacking we weed whack probably 70 to 80 hours a year here on our farm. We weed whack around the ponds, around the gardens, around everywhere. So that's it. Now, to release your string, you just press this button and the string pulls right out. Pretty awesome. If you did it wrong, it won't pull right out. Restart, don't be afraid to take it back apart and try it again. Pretty cool, that's how you do it. This thing whacks the ground and it gives us more string and more string. You wanna make sure you don't have one that's this long and one that's that long. So trim them back to about the same length and you're ready to rock and roll through Weed Eater again. Guys, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel for more quick tips here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I think you'll enjoy it. Subscribe, all right? We'll Woo. come on down.